Holy crap, it's a new world record from three days ago. 159 Vanny ending played on a Steam Deck. I can't wait to watch this true master at work, especially since the run's only been submitted three days ago. Wait. What? I've never shown off the many cheated, troll, and generally wacky speedrun submissions for a security breach that got rejected from the official leaderboard. Mostly due to just not being as big a part of moderation as I am for Poppy. That changed when Louis Copeland, one of the head moderators for Security Breach, reached out and asked if I wanted the opportunity to take a look through their vault of rejected runs from over the past nine months. Hell yeah, I do. So shout out to Louis. He also streams and I'll put a link to his channel in the description. This video will go over both mistakes newer speedrunners run into, which hopefully some of you can learn from, to the downright absurd. There have also been a good handful of troll submissions over the months, and as funny as these will be, do not troll speedrun moderators by submitting whatever. You'll risk getting banned from the leaderboards and maybe the entire site. This is the only video I'll make like this for Security Breach, so trolling the mods will not get you into a sequel. Now back to our little incident. If you're unfamiliar, splicing is the act of placing two video clips together to give the impression of a smooth video. Some can be really well done and almost completely undetectable. This, on the other hand... If you didn't notice, that little splice there allowed the runner to skip both activating Vanny and grabbing the Faz watch. But it's just the beginning. What's this? Going off the beaten path? I mean, surely you've got something up your sleeve, because you only have 20 seconds to finish this, and the Vanny ending is pretty damn far away. The old curtain climb, we all do that. Now you still got a couple more minutes of running before you get to Vanny's room. Whoa! It's the old triple axle backflip into having the Faz gun and being on the bridge going to the Vanny room. Holy shit, what a revolutionary strategy. Let's watch that one in slow motion, why don't we? So right here, we've just fallen out of bounds, beginning to get to the bottom of the map, but not quite there yet. And boom. Inexplicable, but surely one of the best runs I've ever seen, and it definitely doesn't have anything to do with putting two unrelated clips together. Rejection reason. Obviously spliced. Please don't waste your time submitting to us if you're not gonna submit any actual runs. I'm surprised this dude's not banned. Not only are they submitting fake spliced runs, but I don't even believe that they played it on the Steam Deck. Description. I am a god, let's go! Rejection reason. Using flying. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, that's funny. I was, uh, I was kind of thinking, like, they're flying really fast. <laughs> Their flying speed in the hack tool was set to 9,000. Damn, no kidding. You are God. This run suffers from the unfortunate flaw of just being a little bit too leggy to verify. I have seen worse. But the real funny thing is the fact that the runner kept the video uploaded to YouTube and just changed the title to include Rejected. That's some self-confidence. I respect it. So not only did this run get rejected for being the wrong game, but it isn't even a video of a Cuphead speedrun. It only has... the cup. It looks like attempts were made to post an actual speedrun because this is a pretty precise time to put when you're just messing around. But there were some very catastrophic mistakes made here. Rejection reason. Leg too big to be verifiable. Once again, you should see some of the runs that we get in Poppy. <laughs> I've already seen more frames in this run than I've seen in entire Poppy Playtime speedruns before. Somebody just submitted Golden Diamond's Security Breach alternate burn trap ending video as a speedrun. It's a pretty good video, just not quite a speedrun. Description. Could be improved. <laughs> not even the right game. Yeah, yeah, no, I think there's quite a bit that could be improved here, actually. 
For starters, the outfit. Actual flashing lights warning. I am serious. This is bad. Good. God, man. What the hell is this? It goes on like this for the, uh, for the entire run. Now, surely they didn't play like this. Surely this is their capture. I, I can't. I actually can't watch this anymore. Holy crap. Sorry, man. <laughs> this is just not verifiable at all. As with any video where I talk about speedrun mistakes, many runners had to click onto their live split to start their timer and put it in front of their game, which really messes with the start of your game. For any up and coming speedrunners, when you install live split, right click it, open the settings, and check global hotkeys. This means that no matter what's covering your live split, as soon as you press the hotkey that you've assigned to start your time, it will start. Same with resetting and splitting. This is the most important setting for live split. This video link is a single Twitch clip, which are, I think, a maximum of 60 seconds. For a submission of a run that you say is four hours? I don't know about that. Um... Whoa! This is actually the game. This is Security Breach. It's in there somewhere. Hold on, I bet you we could do the math on how many pixels there are in here. Well, how many, how tall is the height? Probably like 25 pixels, maybe 40 across. <laughs> okay, so this is security breach, but like, there's other things going on. Yeah, that's a woman's head that looked suspiciously like a penis at the start. What the fuck is this? I'm so confused, but I'm so intrigued <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Why are you playing Security Breach for the- Oh, Squid Game. I can't believe this didn't get verified. When Security Breach first came out, we were met by this absolute glitch fest skip soup of a game, and there were just all sorts of skips that ended up being banned in certain categories. It would honestly change per day. We didn't want to limit runners by allowing hardware-dependent tricks so a lot of things ended up being rejected. Nowadays, we have enough categories to kind of show off all the different ways you can beat the game. But at a certain point, stuff like this elevator deload in order to get to the Vanny ending quicker was, was completely against the rules. So runs like this were always rejected. And that's where a lot of the rejected runs from the beginning of the game's life cycle come from. It was just really hard for moderators to come up with rules for categories when the game first came out. Some people were able to just have the game, like, literally not load anything. Like in this case where the next room just never loads for this runner, allowing them to just continually run in the void towards the ending. Now, it's likely that this runner had put the game on low priority and maybe was running extra things in the background to prevent the game further from loading because this is actually one of the most extreme cases I've ever seen. We haven't seen daylight in quite some time. But yes, ultimately this run would be rejected for abusing hardware-dependent strats. And I mean, it's, it's not that exciting of a speedrun anyway. While there is now a category that allows most hardware-dependent strats, something like this where the game never loads and you're able to just run across the entire map in the void would be too hardware-dependent to even make it onto the any percent category. This one was really hard, but I managed to get it in under a second. Rejection reason. Kek W. Uh, the video link... It's kind of gross. It's basically this guy eating cake. I'll play the audio for a second, but I'll I'll spare you the visuals. Y yeah, th that that should give you a pretty good idea. My first speed run. No. 100% in 18 minutes. Rejection reason. 
doesn't even complete one ending. So our runner starts the game, goes through the vents, goes downstairs. Does he even pick up one of the first collectibles here? It's 100%, so surely... Oh yeah, make sure you use the camps, it's an important feature. Make sure you don't turn off instruction cards, also an important feature in speedruns, yes. There's a collectible right there, yeah. Okay. Uh, you looked at the caps, <laughs> and you still went the wrong way. <laughs> this is actually how Steel Wool intended the game to be played. I have never seen someone do this so sneakily before. I probably looked at the cams like three or four times in my entire few hundred hours of this game. Never mind to like, look at the cam, hide, look at the cam, hide. Things continue on like this for quite some time. And at the end of the run, we finally make our way to the day. Like there's no timer. I don't know how this could possibly be considered 100%. Oh, whoa, didn't take the safety save. That's pretty risque. And then the run just ends. Here's a fairly creative cheated run where they open the cheat tool and have the exact correct coordinates in order to teleport right into the Vanny room and end the game. That's pretty unique. It took ages to learn these deloads. Projection reason. Bruh. To be fair, this does vaguely resemble the Vanny Catwalk. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a handful of these, to be honest. A good chunk of them. This submission link goes to a streamer's video producer section of their Twitch dashboard. Something that only the streamer and their editors have access to. For reference, this is mine. Nobody else can access this, and if they could, how are they even supposed to find your run? Rejection reason. Not a valid YouTube link. YouTube.com slash URL cool was speedroom in two minutes dot com. I'm sure that leads somewhere. There's obviously been a ton of Rick rolls, but my favorite rejection reason is on this one. Rejection reason. Spam. Giving you up, letting you down. This run is cheated, but it was super hard to figure that out. At the time, it was thought that this was actually the first time anybody had ever broken out of Freddy's room successfully. Because everything appeared perfectly normal. Pause strats here are used to manipulate the FPS and then boom. You're out. But as more and more people tried it out, it turned out it was impossible to do. And that a cheat tool had been used to raise Gregory's jump by just a fraction. Just enough to make it onto that ledge. Because otherwise, it was entirely impossible. Before they got caught, the same runner got a even better run using the same strategy. A 244, which would still be the world record today. If only Gregory could jump just a tiny bit higher without cheating. <laughs> FNAF security breach vanny ending slow run description I took a shower in the middle of this <laughs> rejection reason does not make a clear attempt to beat the game as fast as possible no shit it's a slow run and for anybody asking it looks like the shower happens around 18 minutes in it was not recorded they just kind of Stare at the wall for 15 minutes. <laughs> John from FNAF's run got rejected. To be fair, though, it's just because he was unsure of the rules of the category he was running. So no shame on either his end or the end of the moderators. It's just, uh, it, it's funny. It's funny. Good shit on John. Oh my god, 8-Bit Ryan submitted. Except no. No. He definitely didn't. The rejection reason for this one was just no. 
So I opened the video to find out what was up. And, uh... Maybe they did beat Security Breach in 30 minutes. Unfortunately, they only submitted the last 28 seconds. If you were the moderator of a speedrun, would you accept this? I'm seeing at least five frames per second. Here's a classic, and I'm actually shocked we haven't run into more of these. The video link is in the C drive under users. Rejection reason. We do not have access to your computer files, smiley face. <laughs> what do you think, Markiplier? Was that the bite of 87? Nah, I think it was. But you know what it wasn't? A speedrun. When does this stop becoming a failed speedrun review and start becoming more of a meme review? Rickroll. Different link plus no ads. Come on, guys. Oh, there's something else I'd like to point out. Each page holds about 15 run submissions. And there's 51 pages of rejected runs. We do not have access to your computer. If we did, it would be very cool though, <laughs> but not for you. Please consider using YouTube or Streamable. Yeah, I've never speed around a game, but I was talking to this girl and she said she was watching a FNAF speedrun video. So I told her I could speed around the game in six minutes. I've never played this game, so I bought it and watched someone speed run it. Then I balled the glitches and got this time. Unfortunately, it's a Vimeo link that doesn't work. <laughs> but the submitted time is four hours, nine minutes, and five seconds. Don't worry, man. I'm, I'm sure you'll impress her someday. I've never seen this. <laughs> I haven't seen this one before. And it only replaces Freddy's head. That's hilarious. Visual mods like that are allowed in speedruns. Uh, this run was rejected because of uh, this low frame incident. Rejection reason. Inappropriate thumbnail. <laughs> Disgusting. And why is there an American flag? Now that I think about it, I bet it's to cover the artist's watermark, which makes this even scummier. Probably a third of all runs that have ever been rejected are just a result of the runs not having game audio. It's a rule for speedruns to prevent splicing. And a lot of new people just don't know how to set up their audio or just keep the game on mute. And so they get rejected. Another common reason for rejection is use of save warping, which I've shown off in a few videos and it does have its own category, New Game Plus, that I've also made a video on, but it's not allowed anywhere else on the leaderboards. It was pretty common when the game first came out that people thought they'd discovered a big huge glitch by falling out of bounds at a certain spot and landing back at the end of the game. When in reality it has to do with other games in your save file. Yeah, I've definitely gotten rickrolled more times making this video than I ever have before. Do you know what this is? This is a rickroll. How am I supposed to know that? This is an interesting name for slow runs. FNAF Security Breach <laughs> Un <laughs> Speed Run. <laughs> Unfortunately, the moderators do have a minimum requirement of effort, so it was rejected on the grounds of we don't accept runs that purposefully go slow. A minimum <laughs> effort requirement is reasonable to ask for. <laughs> the moderators were pretty serious about avoiding slow run submissions, which is totally fair, but if you did kind of slip through the cracks, such as this Vanny ending run, in which the runner plays Princess Quest, or our very own Naked Man's blindfolded run, which understandably took quite a bit longer than every other run. If you're curious, the longest run on the leaderboard is RNG Retro's 600%, coming in at 24 hours. And you can expect a video of my own 600% run in the next few weeks. Rejection reason, 
You linked a Mr. Beast video. I mean, at least it's a Mr. Beast video about speed. Similar to the incident with the Twitch video producer tab, someone attempted to submit a YouTube studio link, which again, <laughs> is only accessible to the owner of the YouTube channel. This may be three frames per second video footage, but at least it's consistent three frames per second video footage. Here's Naked Man's original submission, just like a day after the game came out. <laughs> he used <laughs> a piece of art that he drew of me. Video link. Just some random YouTube channel. Rejection reason. Please send a video link, not a channel link, and the channel doesn't even have the video on it. Lamau. Rejection reason. You submitted a run <laughs> with a link to YouTube. I mean, I'm sure it's on there somewhere. Where do I start? The audio is out of sync. It's literally recorded on PowerDirector. Please just make the audio better and we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This audio is perfectly Link. <laughs> you hear the generators turn on like three or four seconds before you see it happen. <laughs> Uh, nice. This one, unfortunately, uh, you know, when it falls under the one frame per second, yeah, yeah, at that point, you can't even make excuses for it anymore. It's, uh, it, it doesn't have a chance. It's like one frame every, yeah, about 10 seconds. That's a bit, yeah. Yeah. Not even the most lenient moderator would let this one through, unfortunately. Oh, shit! We got a frame in two seconds! That's not bad! And, of course, the third run to ever be rejected. Somebody posting that time I got within the first few hours of playing the game. Oh, the memories. Now we're gonna take a look at the beautiful world of category extensions rejected runs. Surely nobody's gotten rejected from the IRL pizza percent category. Oh no. Rejection reason is pizza isn't even cooked properly. The cheese isn't even melted. Well, let's see for ourselves. Minute in, we got the crust. We got the pizza sauce going on the pizza. Everything's looking pretty good so far. Got the cheese and the pieces of pepperoni. Not bad. Put that bad boy in the oven. Get her cooking. Bro's even wearing gloves. Two minutes later, pizza's coming out of the oven. That might be a little bit soon. Two minutes isn't very long. Uh, I mean, uh, I would eat that. Yeah, I'm not a very... <laughs> <laughs> is this worth rejecting from the IRL pizza percent category? I mean, it's basically tomato sauce with cheese and pepperoni on bread. It's definitely not cooked, but I don't know. Okay, hi FNAF mods and anybody else watching this. My name is Herm. This is my grandmother, Herma, and we're going to be running IRL pizza percent. I assume that the timer starts when I open the first ingredient, so wish us luck. I'm sorry we don't have live split, but we're going to do our best. Okay, ready? This got rejected. How could she reject this? <laughs> this is so fucking pure. Unfortunately, the category allows only one person. No! <laughs> this is so sad. Herma has arthritis, so parts of the run would have been difficult for her to do without assistance. I'm verifying this shit. I don't care that I wasn't supposed to do anything with my verification. Ah, that shit's getting verified. Herma, you're getting on to the leaderboard. I want to see it right now. You deserve this, Herm. You earned this. Massive shoutouts to the amazing FNAF SB moderators. They do a ton of work out of the goodness of their heart and have been one of the most well-kept moderation teams I've ever seen with such a tough game to moderate. 
Ultimately, Herm's Pizza Percent run does not follow the rules, but regardless of what happens with their run, that has got to be the coolest pizza-making duo I have ever seen. More good stuff coming. See you later.